Hello everybody, Real Beautiful Beauty here. Gonna be doing a quickie product review. Gonna try to make it a quickie. Um, I have been using this hand soap for, oh, I don't know, forever, <laughs> forever. I would say probably 10 plus years now, probably at least. I got a question yesterday from one of my beautiful subscribers and they asked me, um, being that my video has been on here a while, I believe seven years back, that does the soap still leather okay so i just want to do a demonstration and i found it so ironically so ironically funny because uh my beautiful subscriber asked me this does it lather asked me a question about this product and said yes i know it's been seven years since you did the video and i was wondering if you still use it yes i do and what was so funny was a few hours before i got that comment I popped up in one of these babies and I put it in my bathroom. So I was like, this is great timing. Okay. I will say this. I have been using it forever. Like I said, probably at least 10 plus years. And um, it, yeah, it does. Yes, it lathers, but it doesn't lather as much as some of your SLS cleansers, ones that are super based with sodium lauryl sulfate. This is more glycerin based, so you're not going to get as much lather. But yes, you do get a lather out of it. Just want to show you. I know that in my video before I showed the larger bottle, but this is just this is the same product. It works the same. It's the same thing. It's also I believe the same formulation because I've used it forever and I don't feel like the product formulation has um, changed on me you know what I mean so this is what it looks like and I love that it's unscented unscented it is heaven I love it okay no fragrance I love it because I get too bogged down and overwhelmed with all the other crazy fragrances and I have a scent sensitivity issue so I don't need a lot of fragrances coming at me okay and I'm just going to do a little quick pump here and try to hopefully show you that it does lather and it does lather some. Okay, so let's try this. And I got a bottle of water here, so I might have to add a little, you know, a little bit of water here. So I'm going to take the soap first. And hopefully that's enough, I hope. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of water here, a little bottle of water. Just because I'm not at my sink and. <laughs> I don't want to make messes everywhere. <laughs> my house is, is in the middle of a transition now, okay? I'm literally donating half my house, okay? So it's kind of a little bit of a mess. I'm donating so much, okay? Hopefully you can see that it does lather some. Can you see it? But it's a clear glycerin lather. So that's more like an oily lather versus a sodium lauryl sulfate something with surfactants and sulfate in it that's really going to foam up so you're not going to get that foaming action but you do get that lather action with your hands and it does it does clean your hands you know what i mean if your hands feel clean and it rinses off nicely as well so not sure if that really showed too much could do a little bit more here not sure if the camera is going to pick up on the lather but there is some degree of lather Put a little water. Not sure, sure if this, <laughs> this demonstration is going well, but I'm trying. And I'm doing it because I love you guys. And when you ask me something, I try to definitely answer questions as best I can. Sometimes my uh, comments, for some reason, get hidden or kind of like restricted for some reason. Sometimes I won't even get comments till a year or plus after. And then I think, well, should I even answer a year later? But luckily, I saw, you know, the comment yesterday, so... Maybe you can see, or maybe you can hear it lathering. <laughs> can you hear it lathering? I hope so. But anyhow, one of my super beautiful uh, subscribers asked for this. Here you go. And I'm just going to show you the ingredients on the back of the bottle real quick so you can see. And it does make your hands feel really nice and clean um, under the under the fingernails, around the nail beds. That's always very important to me to get those clean. It's just I have this real obsession with keeping my nails short and clean and underneath them and around them very clean and just as sanitized as I can. You know what I mean? As sanitary as possible. So let's show you the ingredients in the back of the bottle. Yeah. And I really do love this stuff. And like I said, I've used it for 10 plus years and just to, you know, 
repeat information here. Um, I keep using it. There's a reason why I keep buying it and going back to it. Not sponsored, not affiliated, not hooked up with the company, nothing like that. Never been approached by them. Um, I might have a few videos out about this product already. Like I said, the one that um, was looked into yesterday is seven years back. And I know people just really watch that so much. So this is definitely something that people are interested in. Hand soaps, very important. Um, let me see where the ingredients are on here. So hopefully I can show you the itsy bitsy tiny print okay there's the ingredients i'm not sure if it's going to zoom in good enough but i'm trying but i do still use it i still do recommend it and you know um seven years out on that video yesterday and wow i i get a question in <laughs> I popped open a new one that afternoon and put it in my uh, bathroom. You know what I mean? So I actually have one in my kitchen now too. I have, I have uh, uh, two upstairs bathrooms, both upstairs. And I have right now, I believe in my kitchen, I have, I have one on one side of the sink. And then on the other side of the sink, I have the Echoes brand. But I like this one a little bit more in the Echoes brand hand soap. So if you're looking for a good type of glycerin base, uh, unscented, unfragranced hand soap that actually does clean your hands, it rinses off nicely. I like it. Okay. I love you guys. I love you girls. Bye handsomes. Bye beauties. Bye everybody. Mwah. Take care.